What's up guys and girls, this is Midori, and I'm back with another episode of Draw Midori. As you can see guys, today I'm working with Waypoint, and she's a character skin that was uh, leaked back in December um, for Fortnite Season 7, and um, I didn't get a chance to upload it at that time, so now I finally get a chance to upload for you guys, and I'm going to go over her design. So, as you can see, I'm starting off, as always, with the skeleton pose. And, um, you know, I block out the shapes, so her head, her torso, and, you know, her legs, arms, you know, the joints, you know, her shoulder blade, what angles the shoulder blade coming from, you know, so sort of just to get the gesture down. Now, in this stage where I'm at now, I'm pretty much, I'm drawing in the detail, but not focusing too much on details, no finer details, just... Uh, just the basic drawing, you know, I'm going to pretty much save that for when I go over it with ink Now one thing I like about her character design is um, she sort of reminds me of um, You know like a Rainbow Six Siege character like twitch or somebody like that um, You know, she's sporting the armored vest in front and you know, she's carrying the um, grenades on her right side, but you can't really not necessarily grenades, but more like stun grenades, um, you know, on her right side. So I didn't get a chance to draw that in because um, it's facing away from the camera. But on the left side, you can see um, sort of like a gun holster on her left and some of the buckles that you see on the front. You know, just adjusting the, the view, making sure everything is cleared. Now, after I finish the pencil stage, I will start the inking stage of Waypoint. Now to get into a little background um, of Waypoint. Like I said before, she was uh, released during the season seven um, of Fortnite back in December. And you know, you can unlock her the same way you unlock all the other characters, you know, or you could buy her straight out with uh, V-Bucks. Um, about her character um, design, she's pretty much um, she's kind of unique in a way that, um, you know, her backpack, uh, she has a reactive backpack that while you're playing the game, you actually, um, the backpack reacts to how many kills you get. So the more, the better you do in the game, the more the backpack is going to react. So it sort of lights up, lights up. It kind of looks like those old school, uh, nineties, uh, nineties, uh, electronic games. I forgot what it's called. Ring it or something like that. Bop it. Can't really remember the name of the game but um the back the design of the backpack looks like a bop it sort of uh 90s design and the more kills you get the, the the back of it sort of lights up clockwise so you know it's pretty cool and unique in terms of her character design also um about her character design is that she sort of you know like i said before she reminds me of like a rainbow six siege character or maybe Jill Valentine from Resident Evil in terms of her design, you know, she got the armor plates, the shoulder pl pads, you know, the mic, you know, the headgear, you know, and the army um, camouflage uh, pants. So, you know, it's probably, it's not really feminine, you know, or, you know, elaborate like some of the other Fortnite characters, you know, and skins, but I kind of like the practical, tactical look of uh, Waypoint and um, you know you can't really have bright characters you know all the time in certain situation the darker the better you know so and that was pretty much a little background um, of in terms of her design the stage where I'm at now in the drawing is that um, I'm pretty much in the final stages so I'm just adding the fourth or third layer of coloring so I originally went over with a base layer you know, which is usually a lighter value. Whatever I'm drawing is usually a lighter value when it comes to like the base layer. And then I go back in with a darker value um, to add more depth to the character. Now this drawing is pretty much a three or two and a half hour drawing. So it's not as long as my other drawings. Um, so it's not as rendered in um, as some of the other drawings that I did, but um, you know, I wanted to, like I said, I wanted to get more uh, drawings out each week. So sometimes I do a little bit shorter drawings than some of the other ones. 
so that way I can get at least like two drawings done a week. One will be a longer drawing and another will be a shorter drawing. But this one is, wasn't too sh short. Um, I, I, I guess two and a half hours is medium length or, you know, so it's not as short as, um, as one hour, you know, but yeah. So the drawing is coming to an end, guys. If you're still with me, thank you for joining me um, next week. I'm not pretty too sure what I will be doing because it's always random and up in the air. Like I said before, I could be doing Bumblebee could be doing Aquaman or I could be doing a manga character I'm not really too sure but again once again guys make sure you subscribe and you guys and girls have a great day or a great night or whenever you get a chance to watch check you guys later <laughs>